Hello and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We're going to play... Wait for it... Baldur's Gate 3. Now, I remember a couple episodes or several episodes ago on my Aliens Dark Descent playthrough, uh, I mentioned I probably wouldn't do this, but... Hold on, I'm gonna up the volume a little on the output. Um, I've been playing this off-screen, and I love it. I finally made it to Act 3. And it was about 56 hours later. So, depending on how many views uh, people get interested in doing... watching my playthrough, I'm either going to continue it, or I'm just going to give a sample for archival purposes of my perspective, my thoughts and stuff of playing it. Because this is an awesome game. It's been forever playing a game, or since I played a game of this extent. Uh, the last game that encapsulated me this much, aside from Elden Ring, was probably The Witcher 3. Just because this is a perfect video game on so many levels. Um, story, voice acting, graphics, all of the above. I love it. So we're going to start a new game. We'll do Tactician. I figure we'll do that. I played enough, I feel like I could do Tactician. I'm not going to do anything weird. Oh, hold on. I'll just let the... Well, no. You, most of you have probably seen this. You'll probably skip this part. Um, and if you haven't seen this, please watch it. It's pretty cool. But this is, of course, a game that takes place in the D&D &D realm of Faerun. Um, um, my mindset is I'm not going to do things like, oh, I'm going to put all these barrels down and then make them explode around a certain enemy I'm trying to get rid of. I will do smart tactics, smart things like that. Um, just so... It's an authentic playthrough and make, you know, good choices. Um, even though I think... I'm gonna see how... I haven't played with it, but I might do, um... Dark Urge. The, uh, original character that Larian created. I don't want to do any of the other original characters, because I like having them as companions. And so this is an Illithid, in case you don't know. Mind Flayer. You've heard that from Stranger Things, and Stranger Things has a lot of things that, um... Pulls from D&D. And those are the tadpoles that infect your brain. Now, what's interesting is my knowledge of D&D. I've always wanted to play. I've watched other people play. But I've also uh, read a lot of the L.A. Salvatore's... Not L.A., R.A. Salvatore's uh, Legend of Dritz. I love that stuff. Who are you? Yeah, who are we? Don't reset. So, I just want to see if I can pick Dark Urge. By default, it gives you the Dragonborn. And I don't want to be a Dragonborn. Okay, good. I'm going to pick a... Let's see. A Drow. I think that would be fun. Uh, Maybe? Half Elf? So, depending on your class, you get different... You know, different specs, different things like that. And I don't want to spend too long in character creation. So... Make ourselves, um, half drow. There we go. Human, half, half elf drow. I don't want to be a sorcerer. Um, I want to have charisma, most definitely. So I might go. I did actually start my first playthrough on Bard, and I switched it up. But I might want to start a little stronger and do a paladin. I'll, I'll do fighter. I think that's a good range. And I'll make an eldritch knight out of it. And fighting style. Let's see. Great weapon fighting. You When you roll a one or two and damage die. No. What's defense? You gain plus one armor class. That seems like a good start. 
I'm not going to be much of an archer. That's what we'll have a rogue for. Haunted one. A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever you, your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. Skills, medicine, intimidation. So you can pick a different... If, if I didn't have Dark Urge, you'd have a... Here, I'll just show you. Custom. You have a whole slew of different backgrounds to go with your character, which is great. And since I, I have not really played as much D&D... Um, as I would hope to have played. Um, this game is a great way to get introduced to it and understand a lot more things. Uh, so you can get better and be able to play it. So anyway, we're going to go with this stuff right here. I'm going to proceed. Story time. How about... Hmm. We're gonna have fun. Because this is, from what I understand, the Dark Urge is very fun. And definitely something you do on your second playthrough. So our name's gonna be... Uh... How about just Story? My name's Story. You need a guardian. A guardian. Let's see, what kind of guardian do you want? A human? Sure. Oh wait, silly me, I forgot to... Play with my body type. Yeah, you know, that's kind of cool. Edit appearance. Let's go and tweak a little bit more. Uh, add a cool scar. I like the tattoos. Let's definitely get into that. Uh, let's see, maturity. No, we're not old. Some freckles. I'll make this look like I look like. Um, hold on, I might have to blur this out. Nope, we're not even gonna look at it. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna we're gonna default. <laughs> Body art. Let's see. I like the tats. I didn't put any tattoos on my original playthrough character. I don't have I have a tattoo on my neck in real life. So if there was a neck tattoo, I guess so there isn't one. Piercing, let's do let's get some piercings though. Cuz I do have an earring. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, let's do that. Eyes. Yeah, Hazel. Makeup. I don't wear makeup, but we can make our drow look cool because this is a fantasy RPG. Lips are fine. My hair. I am bald. Where is the beard? Let's see, what kind of beard? My ideal beard. You know, I keep saying I want to have this kind of beard, but my girlfriend's like, no, don't do that. Let's do this, maybe. And it is a bit red. More Auburn, I guess. Yeah, ginger. And I can't wear glasses, so that's what's miss that's missing here. All right, I think that's a good look for Storytime Gamer. Nope. Story. I want to change her hair. Actually, you know, that's fine. She's fine. Let's venture forth.
begins. Roll for initiative. Blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Curse whoever did this to me. Say your name aloud. Do you have a part of your you have a part of yourself? Okay. The dark urge. Whatever that is. That is you. Okay. You will claw back the truth. But first you have to claw your way out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Not everyone made it out. So let's get on, get on. I'm not going to spend too much time here. I could spend a lot of time here exploring, but if you've seen anybody else's playthrough, then it's like... I feel better. The same. Those will give you help. Let's go. I'm going to see if I can recruit our friend over here. Seems simple enough. I started off as a bard on my first playthrough, so I had high charisma. And I know... My charisma here is not the best. Let's just make sure. Do I have a? I have a weapon equipped. Okay, I just want to make sure. There's something talking over here. Let's investigate. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return! They return. The enemy. So many enemies. Let's see. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. Hmm. I think your past point of saving. Tell me what to do. Destroy the brain or leave. We're gonna we're gonna try to save the brain. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Let's see. In our investigation. We have the best thing we have is strength. Let's see if we can break the skull. So what's fun is that you have to roll the die. Uh, and you can change different types. This, the dragon flame that came with the, the special collector's deluxe edition. Let's do the metal, or the, the, the blue. Uh, it's really hard to tell on the dragon flame, in my opinion. 13. Heck yeah! And plus three to that. So that's what this gets back to those mechanics. Now, we if you play any RPG, it's all behind the scenes. And I love this because it's all there. Ooh. Did that work? I mean, the guy is dead. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Man, I don't feel like doing Your that. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Ooh. Uh, spare the creature. We might need it. The former brain. They are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. 
What the hell am I helped you once, but that's all I can do. I'll go, but not with you. Alright, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Let's follow the newborn. Oh no, he's attached to us, so he's gonna follow us. My first playthrough, I did not succeed in getting him out. Whoa! you think I was a thrall? Who are you? We need to figure out where we are. What do you suggest? Who are you? Who I? Your only chance of survival. Lazelle, as we can read. What do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Hi, hi. I agree. Attacker! You interrupted my lunch. All right, roll for initiative. Our brain had better initiative. So here is the whole display, your choices of actions. You get one action, you get a bonus action. Depending on your class, you get more of those and stuff like that as it advances. We have claws. And this thing is an imp. What's cool is you can click on them and examine and see all the details. I love this about it. And you can get an idea of what's happening. It's like you're talking to the dungeon master or game master, depending on what you say to figure out what you're dealing with to help get a better strategy. So we're gonna send this guy over here to just attack. Oh, not bad, not bad, buddy. He's still got movement speed because you only get so many places to move before you end your turn. I was about to say, you have a weapon equipped. I went with fighter class because we have a, a good start at attacks and getting through this first area. I did fine with Bard. But I wanted to make sure we could get through this first place on the Nautiloid. Uh, there is a commander you fight on the ship. You can get a really cool weapon early on. Let's see if these imps have anything. Yeah, just start collecting stuff because we can all fence it all. Crossbow. I don't think we have anybody with a crossbow attached, so we might have to equip it. And in the first time I played this, uh, shot. I'll quit talking about my first time playing this, but uh, I didn't get that the, the cool weapon you can get early on. So it's good to rummage and get everything you can early on. As I kept going, as like I started having enough. To take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Yep. Let's give you this, and then she can have the crossbow. Will be done. Oh, she's already got a bow. Okay, that's nice. Um, there's another companion. We're going to try to grab her on the way out. Moving in. Ooh, no, no, no. Let's grab you. Yeah. Gord! And I have respect my character 
so many times in my playthrough, even my companions, just to make sure I had the best. To put my hands on as I'm learning different things, seeing other videos posted by, like, Fextra Life. I love Fextra Life because they help out so much. Um, Gave machinery. I can make no sense of it. But you have Arcana. Astral Knowledge. Let's see here. You can go to the character sheet, you hit tab if you're on the PC. The, it's about to come out on PlayStation 5, and I'm going to play it on there, too. Split screen co-op. You can see uh, different stats. Arcana. None of us have good Arcana, so it really doesn't matter who gets this. Uh, this is a spell. These are astral knowledges. These things last until long rest. Which means that you get a... Short rest, you get a long rest, which you need come. Yeah, I'm coming. Camp supplies and stuff like that. Now, I did put this on tactical, so it's a little bit harder. We have to use twice the amount of camp supplies, and the AI is a bit smarter. But I feel like I could be a little bit smarter in my playthrough and get through this as well. Let's see. Uh, strength. Let's cast this on ourselves. Nope. That. Bionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Okay. Whoops. Powerful machine. Should have just attacked them. Victory awaits. Come on, Lazelle. On the move. Well, let's encompass him, so if he tries Nothing to move... Stand in my way. If he gets... If he moves a little... Oh, there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now there's another button on there you could have hit and uh, would have killed them all. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. There's someone... Someone's talking in here. Let's talk to her. Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Look for a latch that might open the lid. Construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Okay. Eager for battle. Now she's got the Arcana. So we're gonna look at this. With the, the console Arcana. appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Mm-hmm. All right. Locked down. It needs whatever fits in that socket. Reach the helm, so we don't need to go to reach the helm. We need to go Oops. over here. Because you can pull up your map. And you can see there's different objectives. We don't need to get to the helm right now, so we're going to go over here. Oh, don't forget that box. Open up. Death Thrall. I think there was a key that goes to that. Should mind my step. How many hosts are these geek infected? Geek is a game thinky word for mind flare. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay. We're gonna rummage through this person's pockets. Take the gold. Might unlock those controls next to the pod. A brain in a jar. What's this do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Uh-oh. Wait, I didn't mean to! Oh, no! Whoops! Change 
clutched at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. No joke. Let's get out of here. Is this to be our fate? Get some health potions. The music's telling me urgency. We're getting out of here. I'm not gonna mess with that guy in there. Something good here. I think that key that I picked out opens this chest. Yes, it does. And we're gonna collect this. I'll take that. Now there are a lot of things to explore and poke around at, and I'm not gonna do every single one of those things um, through this playthrough or whatever. As far as I record. The console appears dormant. So we're gonna put that. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? Oh no. Arcana check. Uh, I think it's too late for us to pull out from. Oh no! I think I can get Lazelle to maybe look at it. Nothing in the appearance. It could even transform the occupant of the pod. Like what happened before. Hold on, let's change. You can do this where you, if you fail once, you can usually get another character to look at the same thing. The console hums steadily, awaiting command. Now she's got a plus two bonus, so. Oh no, okay, that's very bad. Very bad. Oh wait. Nothing in the appearance of the device. Hold on, everybody. Purpose. Do I have karmatic dice turned off? It could even transform the occupant of the pod. Like what happened before. Where is it? I swear that was on here. Or is it automatically car no karmatic yeah, it's off. I want karmatic dice off. Uh, karmatic dice would basically Okay, let's just put our hands on here. Karmatic dice would um Suddenly you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. I'll tell you in a second. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Heck, no matter what, you could you would succeed at that. Will the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Now, if you didn't take the time to release this person, you would find them again eventually. And they wouldn't be happy, but it wouldn't be too bad of big of a deal, in my opinion. At last. All right, so the karmatic dice um, basically is if you roll bad, you'll roll good eventually. While if you turn it off, it's more like discussion? proper rolls, and I kind of like that against my enemies because they—it's the same thing for them too. So if they can't, if they stop, thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. If they can't hit you, thank you. They'll be able to hit you eventually. I don't like that. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. These are dangerous times. Dangerous company is what we need in a fight. Got a problem with Githyanki. Did you feel that just now? Um. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. We need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Yes, I agree. All right, then let's get let's get going. I'm story. Story time gamer. Shadowheart. One moment. Huh. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Okay. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. We got some XP for our characters. So Shadowheart is a cleric and she's got an assortment of clerical things. Let's see, does this scimitar better? Nope. And she's got a mace. Can she even use a scimitar? Let's see. Nope, she's not proficient. So you can always examine a weapon um, and see what all it has, what information it has. But you can see that if I were to Can't afford to stay click, I have it on everybody, you can just inspect one person at a time, highlight a weapon, 
Her current weapon equipped says not proficient, so she can't do those extra things. And so it's always good to have a proficient weapon equipped to your party member, in my opinion. So there's three of us. And we're about to go Got up a in a fight. Ahead. Up here. I'm gonna just go ahead and spoil that. I mean this is this nothing. is this has all been so many other people in my opinion have played this section. It's not as fun as when you get to like the next part, but I wanted to go ahead and record it. In my opinion, mind flayer horticulture. Yeah, <laughs> to go ahead and just have it on the record. If someone hasn't seen anybody else play it, and like here we go, this is the opening section. We're nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Okay. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Ooh. Kane Yank. All right, we're just saving. Now, uh oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. brains. Oh, there he goes. You got mine blasted. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Oh, great. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. All right. So here's... We rolled for initiative. It is the brain's turn. If we kill this guy, the commander, we get, a, we get his flaming sword. But we have 15 turns to do all that. We also got this Hellbore and a couple of imps, and then there will be some reinforcements at some point. Let's see if we can take out the imp. Wow. That's pretty good. And sometimes if you don't have enough movement speed, you can have your character jump. This so yeah. thing's falling fast. Got to write it. Let's see. Let's double check you. Examine. Dark vision, opportunity attack, threatened. Low on charisma, it's a fiend. Let's see, how far can you run? You can run all the way over here. I'm not gonna let. I do that, but we're gonna help our mind flare because we want to beat this guy up. And it seems like that was, yep, that was a bonus action, so I can keep attacking. And how the devil. we must take the transponder. I hear you. And how um, this game works when it comes to tactician from understand is that they will, you know, try to take advantage of areas. Um, depending on your position and elevation, but also if you have a character who's got less HP, they will go after them first. And so it makes it just, just a hair tougher. And I also turned off Chromatic Dice, so it's kind of fair play at that point. So I'm trying to get Lazelle to go get in position to go after this guy. Yeah, I hear ya. Let's dash. Let's see how far I can get. Dash takes an action. So I'm, I'm all out of things right here. I do, I should go ahead and take a potion of speed though. Yeah, get up here. Oh. Guiding bolts after, it's done, so. Let's see, what's the imp gonna do? Yep. They can get right up on this guy. Let's get you right behind there. Ooh. Let's see if we can get her over here. Sacred Flame. Engulf a target in flame-like radiance. 
guidance, uh, ability checks, resistance, uh, bonus to saving throws, blessing the trickster, grant another creature advantage to stealth checks. We don't need to worry about all that. We're out of spell slots. We have what are called cantrips, which are basically you can do use them anytime, anywhere, which is great. 65% chance. Perfect. They got what's kind of like a holy damage. Radiant damage. Let's see. Sometimes if you can't run all the way No time to waste. Somewhere you can jump. And then still get close enough to give that swing. This guy's got a lot of health. And we have 14 turns. I forget at what point those guys come around. But what I should do with my character is move over here without giving the guy a chance for an opportunity attack. Dang, gummit. That works. And then, let's see if we can do this. Nice! Alright, he's dazed. How's our guy doing? Mind player's doing fine. Concuss a smash, possibly daze this target. There, in, yeah, I don't have anything to help heal the mind flare at this point. Let's do sacred flame. Victory awaits. You bow, or you shrink. Really? He is still dazed, but he's dodging. Oh. Quit dodging! Really? Really, the, the brain gets it. Nearly out of sky. It's now or never. No, we're doing fine here, Shadowheart. Can I push him? Let's see. <laughs> Victory awaits. Uh, let's see if you can last for eight. Dang, gummit. Nice. So will he stay prone? Not really. On the move. Miss. Man, this might be all for naught, honestly. Because my dude's. I don't know. I'm just not going to get any good hits on him, I think. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. Hmm, Search this see. body and keep going. Oh, cutscene. Gonna take some damage. Oh wow! Whoa! Oh, okay. I was about to say, what happened there? Come a little closer. Take this ship, or you'll have your head. Oh, nope, there goes our mind flare friend. Now I'm really, really in a bad place. Alright. I don't want her to die. On I go. Hmm. 
Nice. Uh, let's get out of there. Second wind. Aha! I think I accidentally skipped Story's time on the last uh, bit there. Because I was, uh... Time to press ahead. Let's get over here, because I, I thought I was having to end Lazelle's turn whenever she got knocked out. But we're trying to get to that console over there. But here come the reinforcements. The brain can hold him off. Come on, little buddy! Yeah, you're the only one who's actually been able to hit him. Let's take a, let's take a look. Let's see. I know, I know. Stop. Dang, I was just trying to look at him. I don't know why it was giving me that as an issue. Nobody, no! Take that from you. Aha! Aha! One day I'll catch a break. And that should. Yep, the that's it. Alien transponder. You made it in time. Let's find out. SpongeBob. Pickpocketing is a quick path to profit. Just make sure your sleight of hand is up to the task. Loading, loading, loading. How did we survive that? 
You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. And here we are. Escape the Nalloy complete. Traps, please. You drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Interesting. So this is what's part of the dark urge. Let the grin fall across your face. Yeah, let's see if we can do the intelligence check. We have to get higher than a seven. Ah. Oh well. You see flashes of flesh all lumped together in a mass grave. No single image sticks out. Hmm. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Uh-oh. Maybe the dark urge is like up. the dark passenger. <laughs> I know a little bit about what this story is, but I don't know everything about it. Hmm, we could be bad. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and say the way I'm gonna do this is I'm trying to do the smartest thing for myself, my character, and for my party. But anybody else who kind of gets in the way, it's like I'm not always gonna be helpful. I'm not always gonna be the nicest guy or character. I'm gonna try if if, if what I suspect is correct about the dark urge. Um, we're we're taking the Dexter approach if that makes sense. Mr. Nice Guy. But there's something really dark You're and sinister alive. about us. I'm alive. And we will feed that dark How urge. How is this possible? I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Now what? Do you have an idea where we are? What happened to our gift friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Hmm. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. Amen. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. That's true. We, you want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Mm, stake. Something of better company. True. All right. Let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. All right. Cool. Now she's they with us. should all be running. <laughs> they should all be running. Ooh. Yeah, they should all be running. So what's interesting is what's hiding here. Let's see. Let's pick up this backpack. Might be useful. Because one thing the game does not tell you. So I just grab that backpack. You grab it. You can open it up. And there's stuff in there. Let's give that to Shadowheart. Um. Look, there's camp supplies, so we already got something to camp with, but I need, like, 80 for a full camp. Um, is that if you, you could run out of inventory, but then you can grab these knapsacks and fill them with your stuff to help keep things organized. Because most of the stuff I'm going to probably sell. Because if, if you look in anybody's inventory, it's probably a hellacious mess. And rightfully so. 
So we're gonna grab. We're gonna, my goal for the rest of this episode is to just. I need to run around here and grab things. Right now, I'm holding down Alt to get a highlight. I know there's mods out there, and I, I kind of. I like to stay away from mods when it comes to gameplay. Um, except for like a, the said the said the the Fresh water. games. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Must be. Uh, Y'all can take a time to read that if you want. I'm not gonna read every piece of lore. And I don't want to do every single thing in this playthrough either, because I encourage everyone to kind of... ...play this game, honestly. And that's it from that guy. Let's see, let's get Murgrass. We need... There's a lot of things when I... I didn't know what I was doing. And thank goodness there's other play, players out there that... They play this through early access, and they're like, Hey, do this, do that. Make sure, you're, you know... And then just playing the game, you learn things. It's got tutorials to it. And that's important. But we're going to gather our party. And here's a... These are our fast travel waypoints. Better not be cursed. That is locked. Can't get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. There is. And there's a- this is the first opening area, and there's so much I missed. Um... Not just item-wise, but there's like interactions, and there's so many different ways to go about all the interactions, too. So, I encourage no everyone looks to wretched things. pick it up and play. Let's see, here's our map. It's very small right now. It will get bigger. It will get larger. Let's, um... I think that's... No, we can't even go more further that way. Go back, go back, go back. We kind of have to go this way. Because it kind of dead, dead ends there. And there's different ways to get to different places. We're just going to kind of come in here and start attacking. You could try to sneak past, but... It doesn't do much good, in my opinion. I mean, it's just it just... It takes time, you don't have a really good set of people here for a good sneak attack. There's only two of us. Vicious filth. Best keep some distance, or this will be a short fight. Is this a long rest? That's just concentration, and I don't want to use my spell slots. And that did connect, so which is good. All that matters. So, our story is going to get up in everybody's grill. Ooh, that hurt. That was quicker than I thought. Crap. Perfect. Can I- I can't level up right now, though. I should have- I should have thought of this a little differently. I didn't realize they hit that hard. Time to push my luck again. Go ahead and take second wind. Oh. What's nice is I have a little bit more hit points. Good job. Good job. Alright, let's see here. Do you even have- you don't have a crossbow- you don't have a crossbow equipped. Oh well. Hit. Perfect. Man, that's some damage. Well, so much for peace. Perfect. Alright. I'm gonna level up in just a second, everybody don't freak out. Anything of use? inside. Just gathering supplies. I'll be doing a lot of pillaging in this first area. Pretty much, you know, gathering as much stuff as I can. If it's not, uh, if it's not nailed to the wall, you know, you can grab paintings. I'm going to grab it. These boots have seen everything. And they've been made for walking. 
And that's just what they'll do. Gold. Now, it was one thing uh, was interesting is that they put out updates and things like that uh, through. Maybe I need more pockets. Since this got released in August. And one thing that I saw in one of the first patch notes was that they added more gold to a lot of stuff early in the game. Let's see. Who's got the better sleight of hand? You go to the character sheets and then check everybody's um, stats. So we both have the same amount of sleight of hand. Or I can... Can I... Alright, I'm just gonna pick it up. Now this is a fun thing. So, oh! Well, we're just gonna take the chest with us. Now my... I've got plenty of room, so I'm gonna wait until I get uh, a better character with better sleight of hand. Who should be up in this area. There he is. We're gonna go say hi. This is like a fan favorite. I like him. Seems like a good moment to talk. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. Brain things? In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easily stand back. Maha! There. Can you see it? What? I don't see anything over here. It's just a wild boar. Uh-oh. Shh. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you. Keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need him alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Mm. Uh, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. I could either headbutt. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Let's see if we miss. Ah! Well, that's it. Game over, right? He just might be able to dodge it. You wriggling little. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> What was that? What's going on? Eh, let's just say the words. No need to get it. Make him more angry. You're not one of them. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Can't blame you. I was looking forward to seeing yours. <laughs> Glad to see you were all caught up now. Uh, sure. Uh, a kindred spirit. If the world's reverse, I'd do My the same. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I mean, quite the state, but I think I'm story. Tell me your crash, your worm, and your ruined brain. Let's do that. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. I know we don't want them in our heads. Uh, let's just go with that. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. 
control it. We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mine flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. Oh. And he can level up. But wait, we're not going to level up just yet. Because there's one more person I want to grab, and then we're going to go through the level up process and then call it a day. There. A mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing. You approach oh. the dying monster. Sorry, Shadowheart. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. No, you should be furious, shouldn't yes, you? You feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. Ooh. You should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. Yeah. And then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Uh, what is it trying to focus on? Let's see if we can get this roll. Add a bonus. You can do that during rolls if you have someone in your party or yourself with any spells nice a 19 your mind's fuse lusting for something that is gone but then its grip claws back with a vengeance a vice locking your mind into obedience it needs sustenance to survive and with your very body you can provide not a brain Lean in for a kiss. Resist. We're gonna resist that. Hopefully we can roll something higher. Oh, shh, barely. <laughs> Boy, that's close. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. You can be angry all you want. We're gonna close those eyes forever. We flayed his mind. Monster. Death is too good for it. I'm just kind of scouting ahead at a couple different directions. Yeah, here we go. That's what we were looking for. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. Rummage the corpse. Yep, we'll take the skull too. But there's something on, up with this that we need to check out. Here we go. What's going on with that room? You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Anyone? <laughs> Fantasize about hacking off the hand. Who are you? Strength. Ignore the urge to maim. Grab the hand and pull. Let's do that. Seventeen. That's it! Go on! Keep pulling! Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. I 
and introductions. I'm not wasting time of passing adventures. I certainly hope so. Apologies. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Wasn't the best prepared for an attack by squid. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norseloid as well. I do trust this man. I'm not going to do that. Never mind the Nautiloid. How did you get stuck in the stone? I was, yeah. I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have it phrased it more repellently myself. No, you sugarcoating it, is there? The inserti we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. <laughs> you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. <laughs> I love you him. seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? All right, sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Yep, and we can level up. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to level up everybody. All right. You can choose a subclass at this point. So evocation is nice because then you get... Um, this allows you to throw spells around your friends and, and uh, companions, and it doesn't hurt them. But necromancy. Let's return. If you kill a creature with a spell, you gain hit points equal or twice the spell slot. Um, learn necromancy spells at the cost of scrap, becoming 25 pieces of spell. I mean, evocation might be not a bad thing. But I want to I want to go on necromancy because that's what I'm doing on my main playthrough, and it's pretty cool once you start unlocking a bunch of things. New spells. Let's get shield and mm, do I want shield? Magic missile. Let's take off. I never cared for witch bolt. Let's put that there. Wait, I already... Prepare spell. Thought I could have one of those other ones. Oh, yeah. Take that off. Put magic... Alright. I think that's a good start. For Gale. Of Waterdeep. Asterion. He will be our rogue. Assassin Ranger. Yep. I will subclass him. There's no time to waste. And for her, I'm gonna make her a war cleric. I think. When are we get to that? We're not gonna add any classes yet. Um we definitely want Bless in there. Healing word. Cure wounds is good, but you can't do that from a dis You have to get up close. But Bless is very, very clutch early on. Yep, extra actions. That's perfectly fine. 
Huzzah. And we're going to end it there. Thanks for watching Storytime. Gamer, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.